Good afternoon and welcome to the 2023 South Suburban College commencement ceremony. My name is G.A. Griffith and I'm the president of the South Suburban College faculty and I'll be your master of ceremonies today. Uh, We'll begin things with our national anthem. The national anthem will be sung by Samantha Harris, who is a student at South Suburban College. <laughs> Gentlemen, please remove your headgear. <laughs> oh, say can you What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled Good afternoon, graduates, faculty, family, administration, and our special guests. As president of South Suburban College, it's my privilege to welcome you to the college's 95th commencement. This day would not be possible without the staff and faculty of South Suburban College, the dedicated leadership of our college's board of trustees and my executive leadership team. I have been honored to serve collaboratively with a dedicated group of people who care about students and are committed to putting students first. Joining me on the stage and our board of trustees, our chairman of the board, Terry R. Wells, our secretary of the board, Janet Rogers, who will be joining us shortly, Dr. Sherlene Harris, Kevin Daly, Anthony Williams, and our new student trustee, Jamicia Collier. To my left is our executive leadership team. That includes Dr. Ronald Kawana, Associate Vice President of Accreditation and Institutional Effectiveness. Dr. Deborah Bannis King, Vice President of Student and Enrollment Services. Mr. Patrick Brush, our Vice President of Administration, and Dr. Tasha Williams, Vice President of Academic Services. Also joining us on the stage is your 2023 commencement speaker, Mr. McKinley Nelson, who you'll be hearing from shortly. Today we're here to celebrate your accomplishments. Your talent, hard work, and achievement have earned you this special day of recognition. You are unapologetically bold, strong, and unwavering in your quest and thirst for education. Most importantly, you have persevered to make it to this moment. Your continued effort to achieve this moment despite any opposition you may have faced bought you your success today. For that, I salute you and say congratulations. Let's give this group a round of applause.
Today, I want to focus on what perseverance means, as each of you exemplifies the attributes of this today. Please keep this word with you as you walk through your next journey because you still may have new challenges to overcome as you navigate through life. Remember that you have the power to soar to greater heights. You've already exemplified that you are unstoppable as evidenced by your college completion today. While I cannot promise that life's journeys will vanish, I know that you have the tenacity and skills to navigate these complexities. Bear with me a little bit as I break down what perseverance means. The P represents being present, being present now and enjoying every minute of life. The E asks that each of you continue to put forth the effort in your daily work to ensure productivity and success. R will require you to rise to the occasion to achieve your goals just as you have done to reach this moment today. S encourage you to boldly state your dreams and continue to state those dreams until they manifest into your reality. The, e, the second E in perseverance asks you to maintain your ethical standards as you navigate life's challenges. The V asks that you are vibrant in your spirit. Don't allow life's obstacles to change your positive attitude. The third E in perseverance represents education. Never stop learning because education is the key to a world of possibilities. Remember is the second R in perseverance, and it asks that you remember those who have aided you in this journey today. The A requires that you affirm yourself through daily affirmations to ensure you develop a positive self-image. The N requires that you remain noble through your life journey. The C requires confidence to navigate change and to speak up about important issues. And the last E represents efficacy, which is your ability to not just meet expectations, but to exceed them exponentially. Your education here at South Suburban College has provided you with the tenacity to continue to accomplish greatness. Do not be anxious for anything but be deliberate and intentional about everything. So please spread the word about the positive experience that I hope that you had at South Suburban College. And thank you for selecting us to be a part of your narrative. So now it is my honor and privilege to introduce a key member of our Board of Trustees, Terry R. Wells. Chairman Wells is serving in his second year as chair of the South Suburban College Board of Trustees. Ch Chairman Wells has provided a tireless leadership on our South Suburban College Board since 2001, since 2001. A lifelong educator, Chairman Wells is a retired teacher of both Thorn Ridge High School and Thornton High School, where he was inducted into the Hall of Fame class of 2018. He has also proudly served his home community as mayor of the village of Phoenix since 1993, and, it's, and he's currently the longest serving African American mayor in the state of Illinois. Awesome accomplishment, right? His passion and commitment to promoting equity, inclusion, and in social and civic engagement for the residents of Thornton Township community coupled with his unrelenting dedication to supporting South Suburban College and in all of our faculty, staff, and students is inspiring. Please join me in welcoming Terry R. Wells, Chairman of the Board of Trustees for South Suburban College. Thank you for that introduction, Dr. Stokes. Good afternoon family, friends, and graduates. I welcome you on behalf of South Suburban College Board of Trustees. I'm honored to serve in my second term as board chairman, and I'm delighted 
to be here honoring our 2023 spring graduates. Now today represents the conclusion of a weekend of celebratory events here at South Suburban. On Friday, we had the Highway Construction Training Program graduation and the Adult Education Graduation Program. Yesterday, we attended the graduation of the Nursing Program, and it was wonderful to see the next generation of healthcare professionals go out into the world preparing to save lives. I had the honor to speak at the adult education graduation where we were able to encourage our students to continue their academic journey. The South Suburban College Foundation established the Katie Jackson Booker Scholarship to honor a longtime board member here at South Suburban College who passed away a few years ago. The scholarship will support future adult education students. This is a group that Katie was a lifelong advocate for. Now, our goal was to surprise the family with the scholarship. After we announced the scholarship, the family then surprised us by awarding us with a donation of $10,000 to, to our program. Please, yes, a round of applause for Katie Jackson Booker and her family. Her granddaughter, uh, Tiffany Jones, is here, and her and her, uh, her daughter, Marion, also is here as well. Um, this, is, this donation, just as this donation will help the adult education students, there are other students in the audience who will also receive scholarships from the South Suburban College Foundation. Our foundation is eager to provide funds for deserving students, thanks to the many donors who have given back to South Suburban. All right, graduates, today your courage and perseverance have allowed you to reach this educational milestone that will set you up for future success. Your grit, determination, along with sweats and tears were worth it because now you walk into a new world of hope and opportunities. Let's again give these graduates a round of applause, please. And standing before you at the 95th commencement of South Suburban College is truly special. This outstanding college, which has aided students in achieving their goals since 1927, now gives way to another group of graduates who will enter the world as South Suburban College alumni. Some of you will enter the workforce in various careers, while others will embark on a journey to continue your education. Whatever the path you may choose, you will share a common identity and that is you are a bulldog for life. <laughs> Malcolm X once said, education is the passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. South Suburban College teachings has helped prepare your path to allow you to continue to expand on your educational opportunities. We've come through some perilous times recently, a time of remarkable change. Please take the skills developed here during your time at South Suburban to revolutionize the field that you choose to enter. Just as you boldly walked into this auditorium today, I ask you to walk into the future with that same level of optimism. You are our future leaders. Now, all of us who sit on this stage have worked hard to endure or to ensure that we fulfill our promise of placing students first. By keeping tuition affordable, and we have not increased any of, the, any of the fees in the last five years, we remain committed to retaining the best faculty, the best faculty anywhere in the state of Illinois, and working in the community to solidify partnerships that will move our college forward. A brief story. When I was a young undergraduate many, many years ago at Illinois State University, I almost didn't go to my college graduation. It was two and a half hours, a two and a half hour ride from my house, and we didn't have enough tickets for all of my family members to go. And I told my brother, I said, I don't think I'm going to go to the graduation. As a brother would say, hey, dude, it's not about you. It's not just about you. It's about other people as well. It's about those who struggle, who sacrifice to see you all across the stage. 
It's those who wanted to go out and brag to their friends about the accomplishment of their family member. It's for those who stayed up late at night helping you to com complete research papers and do all those projects. Or it's just that relative who stayed awake praying for your success. So my brother was right. I ended up walking the stage, and I'll never forget the look of those family members as I walked across that stage. But that reminds me now of what I look at you as graduates. Yes, it's about you today, but it's also about the people that helped you along this journey. I want you to look around at this room and look at those friends and family members and those people that helped you get here. And I want you to give them a round of applause for helping you on this journey. You could not have made it without them. I want to recognize our 2023 graduates who are veterans, who have served our country with honor and distinction as they receive their college diplomas. Their selfless sacrifice is the highest level of service to this great nation. If you enjoy your freedom, you should thank a veteran. Please, will all of our veterans please stand and give them a round of applause, please? Again, thank you for your service. We honor the legacy of my mentor and good friend, Frank Zuccarelli, who's the chairman of the board for many years here at South Suburban College. He was a veteran as well. And I'm sure Frank is looking down on us with a big smile on his face and saying thank you for all that you've done for our country. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the faculty member of the year. He is Dave Shaberg. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Shaberg started his teaching in the English department at South Suburban College when he was 30 years old. 28 years later, Dave is still young at heart and equally committed to South Suburban students as though it was still his first day. We are grateful that, that Professor Shaberg selected South Suburban College to be his workplace home. In doing so, he has made lifelong friends and met thousands of students and positively impacted students' lives. Although surprised by the Faculty Member of the Year recognition, it comes as no surprise by those who work with him. He is loved by his students and respected by his peers. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome to the podium South Suburban College Faculty Member of the Year, Mr. David Schaefer. Uh, my speech will last less than two and a half minutes. So if, if I'm getting close to two and a half, just give me the little, little symbol here and I'll, I'll wrap it up. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. So um, as Terry mentioned, I've been here for quite a while, 28 years. And uh, a lot has changed for me. I got married, had a couple kids, uh, became a senior citizen. So many people have, you know, Call me sir, who, whom I've, I don't even know this person, and he calls me sir. So it's, it's kind of good, I guess. I don't know. But, um, anyway, I've done a lot of teaching and learning, perhaps most importantly, a lot of learning. And one of the things that all the faculty members at South Suburban learn about SSC students is that many of you have had to deal with challenges and obstacles that a lot of us would not have been able to overcome. So if you wouldn't mind playing a quick game and raise your hand in response to any of these questions that apply to you. Question number one, how many of the graduates today are the first members of your immediate family to go to and graduate from college? Just raise your hand. It's a lot of people. A lot of people. How many of you had to work while being a full-time student? That's a whole lot of people. How many of you actually worked two jobs simultaneously while you were going to college? That's incredible. How many of you had to take care of children while you were going to college? 
So that's a lot of people. A couple people have had their hands up every single time. Um, a few people haven't, and so we don't want to forget about you. We know that there are, every single person here has faced and overcome your own challenges. So, if you've gotten through all of those challenges and you've made it here today, then we know one thing about you, and that is that all of you are awesome. So, congratulations, and good luck on whatever path you choose from here. It is my pleasure today to introduce you to the keynote, the keynote speaker. McKinley Nelson is a Chicago native, a Whitney Young Magnet alumni, and attended Xavier University in Cincinnati, Ohio. He embodies the spirit of philanthropy and believes in paying it forward through his community work by a nonprofit organization, Project Swish Chicago. After the untimely death of a close friend due to gun violence in Chicago, McKinley suffered from depression, anxiety, and PTSD. This became a catalyst to create the Project Swish Foundation, a movement that focuses on mental wellness and healing that utilizes basketball as a driving force to harness the power of what happens on the court to change and to save lives. Project Swish provides free basketball leagues to underserved communities and high crime areas to provide a safe haven and to build a sense of community. It also focuses on health equity and offers non-traditional therapeutic programs such as yoga, meditation, massage therapy, music therapy, and financial literacy. The goal is to promote healing and provide the male and female participants a platform to have a voice. McKinley has impacted and reached more than 2,000 young people in just four years. His work has been recognized by President Obama, LeBron James, Steve Harvey, Bleacher Report, TNT, along with national and local media outlets. While he faces his challenges, McKinley has been able to find refuge in basketball and has now devoted his life to creating access to the game while providing a safe and supportive environment for others throughout the city and the suburbs. Please join me in welcoming McKinley Nelson to the South Suburban College stage. <clears throat> to the South Suburban College class of 2023, Dr. Lynette Stokes, um, South Suburban faculty, family, graduates, um, and other esteemed guests, good afternoon. I'm McKinley Nelson. I'm honored to have been chosen to be the commencement speaker for the 2023 graduation of South Suburban College. Um, as I was you know, writing my speech, I realized that these last two graduation, graduating classes um, are different than the graduation classes that preceded us. Um, considering you guys came into school or in, were in school during a global pandemic, right? Um, and that just kind of speaks to the resilience of the students here. And that's pretty much, pretty much what my message is about today, resilience. During the pandemic, the world was turned upside down, um, and a lot of us felt lost. Um, and this was not a college experience that any of us you know, expected to get ourselves into, but just like you guys, uh, my college experience wasn't exactly how I planned it to go either. Um, I know I might look like the youngest in the room, right? But I am 26. Uh, and I know a lot of you guys are surprised about that. Like, who is this little boy up here talking to us? But, <laughs> um, but I am 26. I did grow up on, uh, here in Chicago on the south side. Um, in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood, to be exact. Um, I say this all of the time, right, but when you go out of Chicago, um, a lot of people, you know, really don't realize what goes on in Chicago, right? What's news to other people is our reality. And um, everything that I, I carry with me, you know, being a Chicago native, um, all of my baggage came along with me to Cincinnati when I first touched my college campus. When I got to Cincinnati, um, Xavier University, um, and you, you know, in the, in the first um, intro week, they ask you where you're from, right? And I say, oh, I'm McKinley, I'm from Chicago. I know you guys can probably guess during that time, 2015, the first question was, do you know Chief Keith, right? <laughs> um, sometimes I will play along, you know? Yeah, that's my cousin. Uh, you know, I actually know Dirk too. Me and Dirk grew up together. Um, I never met Keith or Dirk before. Um, 
But other times I would just be honest and I would, and I would tell them the truth, right? Um, a lot of times people outside of the city, they kind of glorify, and they're just that, that Keith and that Dirk example. Um, people outside of the city, they kind of glorify you know, the, the life that, we, that we're living here in Chicago through YouTube, right? But from the comfort of the house, right? Come from the comfort of, you know, a safe suburb, from the comfort of, um, you know, 45 minutes away from any traffic. Um, and they don't really realize the people in those videos that they're watching are actually struggling, right? Um, me, I was a kid coming from the city of Chicago. I was one of those kids that was struggling. Um, the time I got to campus, it was on a Friday. The day I got to campus was on a Friday. That Sunday, I lost one of my close friends to gun violence, right? By the next Sunday, I lost another one of my close friends to gun violence. So in a week span, I lost two of my best friends that I grew up with in the neighborhood to gun violence. Um, I started to question myself, like, you know, how am I supposed to carry out my freshman semester, my first semester in college, you know, starting off with two major losses, right? How do I maintain my scholarship if I don't even want to go to school? Um, how do I get any grills if I don't even want to get in the shower, right? <laughs> these, are, these, are, these are real questions. Um, and to be honest with you, um, I'm sorry, and to be honest with you, I know a lot of you guys have experienced experience loss as well, right? Loss is in, 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 inevitable. I was talking to my friend Kenny, who's in the crowd right now this morning, and I was telling him we're only promised two things, right? The entry day and the exit day. And oftentimes, you know, when people around us that we love and that we care about, when their exit day comes, we carry their pain with us until our exit day, right? It's not only are we dealing with our own problems, but we're, you know, just like I mentioned that pain earlier, we're carrying more pain because of the people that we lost that surround us. And that was me, I'm sorry, and that was me at 18 years old, right? Trying to figure it out. I'm in a new city. I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, and to be honest with you, nobody there was kind of like me, right? I think I'm a pretty urban kid from the city of Chicago. Um, I didn't have anybody to talk to about what I was going through. I didn't have anybody to talk to and lean on. I'm a kind of trauma bond with, you know? Um, and, that was a little, and, that, and that was a little difficult for me. Um, by my 21st birthday, you get, you get into college. Well, I got into college at 18. On my 21st birthday, um, I think I want to start, we started at two in that first week, right? By my 21st birthday, I lost a dozen of my friends to gun violence. Um, obviously, my mental health was in shambles, right? Um, we, in my intro, in my bio, we talked about depression, we talked about anxiety, right? We talked about PTSD. Um, I told you I wasn't showering, right? So um, I was clearly not in a place, and I'm not bragging that I wasn't showering. I said that like three times, but I wish you guys to know that's not anything I'm proud of, right? Um, but, um, you know, I, I started to even question my purpose, like, you know, in my next, right? How long am I going to be here? What is my purpose of being here? Um, you know, when you accomplish things and you can't call the people that you grew up with to celebrate with them, um, you kind of feel like you accomplished things for no reason. Um, but if we fast forward, right, four years later, um, and I know the bio said 2,000, but we have about 3,000 kids in the city of Chicago, a part of our program, and I'm talking to them about anti-violence and mental health, right? And that's all off the strength of being resilient. Um, I actually left school at 21. And I'm going to get back into this and why you guys are much cooler than me, because you guys are about to walk across the stage and get something that I haven't been able to get yet. But I left school at 21 um, to get some, some professional help for my mental health, right? Um, 21 is when, and sorry, mom, but I was using a fake ID until I turned 21, right? So 21 is when my ID is real, right? It's, it's the time where I'm supposed to celebrate, it's the time where I'm supposed to hit the college bars and have fun. I was spending my 21st year in the dark in a room by myself, just depressed, because um, I felt like I was alone. Um, I left school, I got some professional help, and I was asking myself over and over again, like, what can I do about this, right? I'm no mental health professional, I'm not a therapist, right? But I think that along with the help of my boys, we've developed a plan where, you know, maybe we avoid the kids being in, that, in, the, in those situations in the first place. And so we developed Project Swish, right? And what Project Swish is, is it's an anti-violence basketball league because, you know, the city of Chicago loves basketball. It's an anti-violence basketball league where we go to the high crime areas during the high crime times to get those guys off of the streets so they won't be in that, in my situation in the first place, right? If we can avoid them losing their friends, if we can avoid them losing themselves, then they won't be locked in a room on their 21st birthday not really doing anything. Um, so um, I remember, you know, my last day or my last couple of days, you know, um, getting some professional help before I got out and I started Project Switch. I called one of my friends, Paul, Paul White. Um, and if you are a basketball fan of Chicago, you might know who Paul White is. Um, I called Paul White and I asked him, I'm like, yo, like, you know, this is getting tough. Like, I don't know where I should turn. And he asked me, do I feel like I'm at my rock bottom, right? 
My answer to Paul was absolutely. I feel like I'm in my rock bottom. Like there's no way things can get worse. If they go any centimeter lower, right, um, I probably won't be here anymore. And Paul, and this replaced me all the time, um, Paul told me, he said, yo, if you feel like you're at your absolute rock bottom, literally the only place you can go is up, right? Like there's no place you can, if you're at your absolute bottom, things can't get any worse. Like if you just stick it through, um, things have to get better. And there's also something that I saw, and I'm on Twitter and Instagram like everybody else, right? I saw Steve Harvey say something. He said, you survived, you, so far you have survived 100% of your bad days. Um, all of us have had bad days before. You guys have had bad days going through classes. You guys have had hard days, right? A lot of you guys raise your hands about kids, two jobs. Um, you guys are much better people than me because two jobs is crazy. <laughs> um, but you survived 100% you survived of your bad days so far. And you guys did it all while being a student. Um, you guys might look at me and my, my bio is kind of cool. My mom made it sound a little cool for me. Oh, that's the kid you know, who Obama knows where he shot a commercial with LeBron. Um, but to be honest with you, I think that you guys are a lot cooler than me, right? I aspire to be in that seat um, and I'm gonna walk across the stage and do what you guys are doing today. You guys are halfway there already. Um, so I just wanna give you guys another round of applause. Um, a lot of us may be here today, right? And we are just in school because we just know we wanted to take one step towards something, but we don't really know which direction we're actually gonna go. Um, and I think that you guys put a, your foot through the door um, today. It's already, you know, you guys are already a few steps ahead of myself and I think that I'm, I'm doing all right, right? Um, so one, I wanted to come here and share my story and share my words, but also, you know, give you guys uh, another round of applause, right? Because I really think this is something on my goal list. I know people have goal lists. Somebody ha might have a goal list um, of meeting Obama one day, right? Somebody might have a goal list of meeting Steve Harvey one day or hanging out with LeBron, right? This, what you guys are doing right now, is bigger than any goal that I've ever achieved. Um, and I just think you guys need one more round of applause for that as well. Um, and I'm gonna wrap this up because he had a much better speech than me in two minutes, so I'm trying to figure out why they put me behind him and gave me 15. <laughs> um, but um, through the rough times, right, um, we have a chance, and I had a chance, to reorganize my priorities, right, pursue my interests, um, through hard work, community involvement, independent passion projects. Um, you guys' future is super, super bright. You guys are courageous, confident, accomplished, graduates, accomplished, um, and most importantly, resilient. I'm excited for what the future holds for this class, right? You guys are already kind of dealt a bad hand coming in through the pandemic. You guys still made it to this day. Um, in addition to everything else that you guys raised your hand and persevered through. Um, so I, guys, I want you guys to cherish this day, cherish this moment, um, hug your parents. Everybody in here was screaming when they were coming through. Um, super proud of you guys, and I'm proud of you guys as well. You guys know your names already, right? But your story is just beginning to, beginning to uh, get written. So congratulations to you guys. You know, um, my name is McKinley Nelson again, and uh, I'm grateful to be here. Dr. Williams, as president of the South Suburban College faculty, I have the honor to present the candidates for graduation to you. Will all the members of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society please stand and remain standing? <laughs> Will all the students graduating with an honors grade point average of 3.5 or higher please join them? Will all the candidates for graduation please stand? <laughs> Dr. Williams, as president of the South Suburban College faculty, it's my 
privileged to inform you that these candidates have met the requirements for graduation established by South Suburban College, as well as the state of Illinois. I present to you the candidates for graduation for the 2023 school year. Antonia Adame. Aranike Alibi. Amri Anderson. Pashan J. Anderson. Abigail Antonazzi. Janae Armstead. Huzena Aloya Hassan. Dominique L. Banks. Victoria Bassett. Stephanie M. Bender. Kyla R. Brooks. Demarius D. Bird. Colette M. Campbell. Denise Campos. Symphony. Symphony Carey. Valerie Cazares. Jelsey Chavantes Jr. Trinity A. Conley. Latoya B. Criswell. Janae M. Crockett. Nicholas J. Davenport. Lachey J. Davis. Marcella A. Davis. Olivia T. Dorsey. Shanita L. Douglas. P. 
Paige R. Easton. Gervais Edwards. Esperanza Espinoza. Esperanza Espinoza. Ayamipo Posey Fadini. Julio C. Gavon. Lizette Gamma. Samaya P. Gardner. Cassandra Gonzalez. Lillian J. Gaucher. Cheyenne M. Hamberlin. Amani D. Hampton. Tia T. Hawkins. Manquita Hawkins Walton. Rebecca Hernandez. Anaya I. Hurst. Eric M. Irby. Arquisha P. Jackson. Cherie A. Johnson. Latrice N. Jones. Deja E. King. Miosha S. Kinney.
David A. Kozak. Kimmy Larry. There it is. <laughs> there it is, Leon. Justin Lewis. Courtney A. Little. Jaleesa Lloyd. Jesus M. Lopez Velaudez. Whitney G. Lozano. Kaylin S. Martin. Nikita L. Martin. Tiffany Martin. Joyce McCraven. Alexis P. McFarren. Tiffany McKnight. Denise Melendez. Milani Mouse. Brunel Moore. Nicole A. Marga. Leilani R. Murray. Patricia K. Neal. Last name? No, last name. Nadi. Okay. Daniel U. Nadi. Casey Nushaba. Michaela M. Ogletree. Brianna L. Olage. Catherine Overland.
Patricia Pacheco. Julie Palomar. Jalen M. Parker. Paula C. Pate. Patricia C. Patterson. Diego Perez. Faith Pickings. Angela Pimento. Taylor J. Ratford. Michaela M. Reed. Red. Ebony D. Reed. Troy N. Rhines. Miguel A. Rodriguez. Brian Morero, Romero, Misha Sanders Walker, Jasmine L. Saunders. Fatima G. Serrato. Grace A. Shan. Nakayo S. Shelton. Jose L. Shorts. Erica D. Sims. Crystalina Smith. Janiqua Smith. Aditiloa Sashina. Sierra S. Sparks. Vincent E. Stewart. Aaliyah Sutton. Danietta U. 
pessoal! Jasmine C. Tate. Sabel F. Tiki. Sharice F. Thompson. Lily D. Tran. Jesus Trejo the third. Caitlin Turner. Maya C. Vargas. Anthony Vieda. Hector M. Vieda. Ariana A. Walker. Nicole E. West. Annie T. Williams. Jade A. Williams. Jasmine Williams. Lakeisha Williams. Nicole F. Williams. Jessica E. Willett, Wills. Jasmine S. Wilson. Taylor L. Wilson. Gail L. Wood Stewart. Arthur D. Wright. Narat A. Yusuf. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the South Suburban Class of 2023.